Good morning everyone, it's Michelle, welcome to my channel. I hope all is well with you. Um, today is the 13th of September and I was sitting with Metatron this morning and he said to me, clarity, clarity and declutter. And I thought, hmm, that's interesting. So focusing where I want to go, but clearing out the old. So I wrote some uh, notes down while I was uh, having a chit chat. So clarity is in connection with your inner and outer being. So what is it if internally that you want to release, let go of? And what in your external space do you need to clear? So you could be finding that you're eating better, that you're focusing on your health, that you're clearing out the office, you're clearing out the house of unwanted things that no longer serve you. Um, I always have a rule. If I haven't used it or worn it for two years, it goes in the charity bag. <laughs> so it's a good day to set up health re uh, regimes. So maybe what you're eating, it may be an addiction that you want to give up. It may be getting out in nature and doing a bit more exercise. Um, also, we could be overthinking situations here. So this sort of carries on from what I was saying yesterday with the card of communication. So it's about um, having those difficult conversations rather than overthinking, guessing what other people are feeling or thinking. And it can be difficult sometimes if you're in a relationship where the communication is difficult, where one person is closed off, their heart is closed, they're not emotionally um, connecting, um, they don't voice how they feel. They tend to be people that are quite controlling um, because that keeps them feeling safe and that can tip over into narcissistic behaviour. So you need to be aware of those behaviours with those around you and trying to have those difficult conversations that need to be had rather than brushing them under the carpet. And knowing when you're talking to a brick wall, I've spoken about this before in previous videos, but when you're speaking to a brick wall and you're not being heard, your, your needs aren't being met, there's no middle ground, there's nothing for you to work with, it is probably time to walk away. So just thinking of that today, overthinking, uh, coming in, bringing your head down into your heart before you make any decisions. So sometimes we're too much up here in the head and not enough in the heart because that's where your soul resides and that's where your clear messages come from. So before you make any decisions today, take a breath, do some meditation, take your head into your heart, stop thinking and just let it be and see what messages come through for you. Um, we need to be aware of where we're focusing our attention because we could be led down some rabbit holes, some destructive paths if we're not careful. Um, but we do have the, the opportunity today to break old chains, to let go um, and absolutely refocus, reset our focus. So if you've been focusing on something you don't want, you're thinking, oh, Lordy, I've been doing the thing wrong. Oh, there's no, no ever wrong because you're going to get a lesson from it. But, um, you know, what you want to bring in rather than what you don't, um, today is the day to refocus, reset that focus um, because you are your master of your reality. You are the creator of your future. Self-worth is also key uh, today. Speak up for yourself. As I said, have those difficult conversations. This really um, just follows on from yesterday. Um, Self-acceptance, because none of us are perfect. So accepting where we are, allowing our emotions to come up and look at those emotions, how we're actually feeling, brings in what we desire. Because when we start to look at how we feel, the body messages we may be getting, that's when we get those aha moments where we can start to do the inner work. So I thought we would um, use the Sacred Destiny cards by Denise Lim and just see what message Metatron's got for us this morning. But it is about clarity, focus, decluttering, resetting. Acceptance of where we are, who we are. And those that are around us, you know, they may not, they may not change. Right, we've got thriving. Look at that energy. Look at that energy that's coming in today. Beautiful. 
he, as a giraffe, call it a he, it could be a she, um, can see the bigger picture. And when we see the bigger picture, we start to manifest what we truly want and we can clear out what we don't. So this is a really good card for today on resetting our focus. Because when we do that is when we're going to bring in our dream life. So we're thriving. So he can see the bigger picture. He can see what's coming. So take a moment today to reset and refocus. I like that. Let's just see what the book says. I want to see if I've missed anything there. As you know, I read my cards intuitively. But let's see what this says. If you draw this card you are a survivor and not only do you survive but you use situations that others might feel challenging to thrive you expand when others shrink this may be the time to adapt to your circumstances rather be overcome by them you have a remarkable ability to step beyond any challenge you are strong others may find shelter in your energy and right now that's okay through giving to others you are in turn nourished this card may be urging you to step into the primal, powerful, wild part of yourself. Doing this will increase your vitality and contribute to your overall well-being. Yeah. Accepting where you are, seeing the bigger picture, knowing that you have survived everything in your life that's got you to this point and you can keep doing it. You are strong. But using this energy, this beautiful energy that's coming into the planet right now, the Schumann resonance yesterday was really high as well. So just bear that in mind. We've got lots of light codes coming in and the body needs to catch up. But we can thrive if we focus, reset. So that's the message for today. Have a fantastic day and I'll see you all tomorrow. If you want to work with me one to one and unravel some of your core beliefs, your relationships, your emotions, you can contact me on michellewestinfo at gmail.com. If you also want to be part of my Soul to Soul membership, we do lots of this sort of work in that group. We meet twice a month on Zoom. And we meet around the full moon and new moon. So we do full moon, new moon work, but we do other stuff as well. We do other uh, shadow work to help clear us so that we can see the bigger picture. So lots of love and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye for now.